Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a short one as we'll be unboxing the Bell Spirit Saga Diamond of History core set. For the most part, this product is more or less a beginner's set, so to say. As well, content wise, you get two Dawn of History packs, two promo cards of Feral Slash, and then 15 regular cores, and then one. Soul Core. Obviously, this ends up being a product for beginners, so to say, as if you think about it, for anyone who chooses to just build their deck through singles, this ends up giving you the, well, giving them the option to get cores, although not the full 30, as recommended. Well, let's start going into this one. Two feral slashes, the two packs, and then the cores are in there. For the most part, feral slash is a pretty much looking to be a decent card overall, as it's a four cost with two reductions, and is a burst that triggers when you lose your life, and it allows you to pretty much select one of your three thousand your points three thousand BP or lower. Shirts and destroy it, and then paying the cost, allowing you to pop a Nexus uh, that's cost 4 or lower. Which is a little bit situational. But, bro, let's go into the packs. Starting off with the Murduk one. You got Imp, Great Bow Angel, Bow Attractor, Tyranoid, Leo Male. Fairy Blacksmith, Rocket City, Horn Penguin, Poison Mist, Heavy Barrel, Ryute, Ryute, and then a Foil Cavalier. And then going into the last pack that we have. Scythe Jaw, Lumen Angel Surreal, Nebula Dragon. Automatic Gunner, Flamefish, Sacred Thundering Peaks, Tink Mobile, Dark Matter, Burst Venom, Flavum, and then Corn Flame Rat, and we got an extra from this, Wonderland Ellis, who's pretty much more or less plays into Yellow's control since her, when attacking at level 2 and 3, allows you to reduce. BP by 1000 for each spirit you control by selecting one in that one spirit loses BP with that also being a way to weaken the opponent's defense as well and then for its level 3 if you control 3 or more spirits when this spirit is destroyed you may place a core from the void onto it to keep it on the field exhausted in short, this makes Alice pretty much a very hard to get rid of spirit on field, given that, well, she remains on the field as part of her cost, on top of the extra void core, giving you an extra resource. Overall, that is my opening on the Dawn of History core set. 